Pisces, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is a general reading for the whole of the Pisces Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the link to private readings in the description box directly below this video. Finally, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. So, Pisces, I'm going to jump straight into your reading and I'm using the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. And the first card out for you is the King of Cups, Pisces Energy. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. You could be dealing with Taurus. And the Magician, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Okay. I'm going to continue on before I talk about what these cards are about. I've got Temperance, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. The Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ten of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel that you're very much open for love. Um, you're very loyal, open, giving, loving. Uh, someone's definitely got their eye on you. Um, for some of you, I, I really do feel like for some of you already in a relationship, that relationship is about to enter a higher level of commitment i feel that whoever you're with that's what they desire that's what they would like um it could also mean for some of you that are single that you do have an earth sign coming in for, for you it could be a taurus it could be a virgo or it could be a, a, a gemini for some of you um some of you are definitely have manifested this if you're single you've definitely manifested new love you want new love in your life you're ready for a relationship um and you know this is a card of communication a card of action a card of making things happen for yourself you're very skilled and capable at going after what you want and getting what you want basically I feel that a lot of you, that you know, you could have a, a Sagittarius coming in for you, some of you as well here. Um, I, I feel though a lot of you have been working on getting to a really calm, peaceful kind of state in your life, like trying to find balance in your life, balance things out as well. Um, being in control, but you know, um, but going with the flow, you know, not forcing things, a really completely new way of um, dealing with things and situations rather than stressing out. Um, I also feel that this can point out that um, a lot of you may, may uh, be waiting to hear about something. Uh, it could be news about whether you've got a certain job that you were interviewed for recently some of you for some of you you're definitely waiting on news about something there could be a celebration here i feel that if you're waiting to hear whether you've got the job i feel there will be cause for celebration here the news is very happy news here so i feel a lot of you could be getting that job um there's definitely cause for celebration i feel so those of you that are in a relationship, like I said, that relationship is about to step up into a higher level of commitment. So some of you will be getting engaged, getting married. That's the cause for celebration. Some of you getting that job uh, that you've really, really got, you know, put your heart and soul into, really gone after something that you, you definitely deserve. Um, it can also be luck. It could be winning money on a game of chance here as well 
It's a kind of defensiveness here. Some of you may feel um, a bit defensive. Um, maybe uh, change the way things are going. Some of you feel a bit scared, a bit anxious um, about taking the next step. Some of you, you may feel a little bit of those nerves, that anxiousness creeping in when you um, get together with someone new. But you definitely, you know, want to be happy for sure. Um, you want to find happiness with someone. You want to feel fulfilled. I'm going to get more cards out before I decide what this is about. Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Justice card. Oh, yeah. I can understand a bit, having a bit of apprehension. You know, you're afraid to completely let go. You know, you are trying to work on your balance and go with the flow more. And in most areas of your life, you are. But, you know, from time to time, a bit of anxiousness creeps in. Um, you know, there's still a part of you that's protecting your heart you've been very hurt in the past but you definitely want to be happy without a doubt um i definitely see a lot of you getting recognized for your skills and your talents um if you've gone after a job recently been interviewed for one i definitely see that being very successful with the six of wands here i i definitely see you getting that job um and also again celebrations you know i feel this really does emphasize that that some of you already in a relationship, you are definitely going to, of course, a celebration. I feel that there's someone, if you're single, there's someone that is definitely interested in you, that um, definitely admires you in a big way, um, completely is attracted to you, um, adores you, is going to romance you, sweep you off your feet, um, For some of you, this person could be in awe of you. This this person is definitely um, placing you high up on that pedestal. It, whoever it is, it's going to come forward. Um, uh, and you're going to know this. You may already know this. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Someone is definitely, uh, absolutely adores you, um, finds you extremely attractive. Um if someone's like they're looking at you adoringly and thinking you're everything I ever wanted in a person. Um, I've got the justice card and that falls interestingly straight under the nine of wands. Yeah, I kind of feel with the justice card coming up, it tells me that you know you have come through some really tough and challenging times. You know, you have been hurt in the past, and now happiness is coming in for you, and it's what you deserve. You know, just enjoy it, go with it. Um, you know, you be, I guess you're, you know, you've been through those battles, um, those struggles. You, you come out of it with a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom. And you've learned a lot and you want what you deserve. You know what you deserve. You know how you should be treated. And I feel that with justice coming up, you know, whatever you want, it, it's going to go in your favour, especially if you're going through any legal, any type of legal battle now. Uh, it, the justice card signifies that things are going to go in your favour, in your favour, especially coming up after the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. This is going to be good news for you. It's going to be a really good outcome. So next you've got the Two of Wands, Page of Cups. Ooh. I think I know why there's some apprehension with some of you. Yeah, this can't, this has really come clear now. With some of you, um, all right, some of you are in a relationship that's ascending to a high level of commitment. Some of you are single and about to enter into a new relationship or possibly because there is possibly a fire sign here that could be very interested in you. It could be a Sagittarius, but then also an earth sign could be interested in you or a Virgo or a Gemini, I've got a really strong Gemini energy coming up for you. Um, you have a choice in love. Um, I see that for some of you, definitely it's new love. For some, um, for some of you, there's an extra turn in as well. 
uh, so you may have a choice in love, uh, definitely a choice when it comes to love. Uh, I feel between someone new and from you and your ex here, definitely an ex returning for some of you. That is what this is, a choice, what direction, who, who are you going to go for, who do you want most. With the lovers coming up as well, this does confirm there is a choice in love here to be made. You may be focused on making a healthier choice going after the one that is right for you rather than you know being attracted to someone that is unhealthy and very toxic for you like you have done in the past because attraction and physical attraction and attraction in self can only go so far you're after that deeper connection i feel in love i definitely feel that um I'm going to clarify the Nine of Wands for you, definitely, I feel. And that's clarified by, because I want to know with the Nine of Wands, yeah, the, the Four of Wands. So I feel with the, your apprehension, it's because you're, you're very focused on your stability and your security. Um, for some of you, this may be a little bit of worry about but getting into a higher level of commitment for some of you that are already with someone could be a bit of apprehension there. You may be a little bit worried that something's going to go wrong. Yeah. A lot of you, if you're single and about to meet someone new, because I feel that some of you definitely are going to be meeting someone new without a doubt. It could be... Um, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Virgo, um, or a Libra with Justice card coming up here. Um, who else did I say? Um, I think I said them all actually. Um, yeah, or a Taurus actually. But you want something that has a future that is long lasting. That, um, like I said, you want that you're after those deep deeper connection, something that's lasting, someone that really values you, really appreciates you. I feel a lot of you are definitely going to get that soon, if you're single. Someone's definitely really valuing you and appreciating you here. Um, it's someone that you could have a future with, without a doubt. Yeah, you've got the Nine of Swords, so there's definitely worry here, I feel, uh, for some of you. You're just a bit anxious. You know, it's understandable if you've been hurt in the past, you're just a bit anxious about completely giving yourself to someone. Um, I think you're anxious about being hurt again, but you have to try and find a way of controlling that because you don't want that dictating um, your life. Uh, you don't want to be ruled by that, being, you know, by that fear. So let's get you some romance angels. You've got new love, so definitely got new love coming in. Without a doubt, like I said, for those of you that are single, without a doubt, there's new love coming in for you. You've got finances in career. A lot of you are very focused on your finances and your career. Um, I feel with good reason. And uh, definitely, like I said, there's good news coming in in your career. You're definitely going to be getting that job. Um, and I see that there will be growth around your finances as well. Your money will improve as a result. We've got separation, yeah. Some of you, like I said, there is an ex coming back. Um, there's definitely an ex coming back here for some of you. Um, some of you may be ready to move on to new love, but some of you, there's an ex coming back. Maybe that's why you're guarded here, why you've got the Nine of Wands, why you've got the Nine of Swords. You're guarded, you're worried about this. Uh, because you are, I've, you know, you've been separated from this person, you know, um, for a period of time. Um, you may not be interested in getting back with this person. Um, I do see the worry here that, that, that this person causes for you, you know. It's, it's creating a lot of worry in you. But like I said, there's different things for all of you for some of you you're definitely in a relationship and it's about to enter a higher level of commitment some of you you're about to meet someone new without a doubt here there's a lot of cards that point to new love for a lot of you 
And for some of you, as soon as you move on to that new love, you've got an ex wanting to return into your life, which is causing a bit of anxiety in you naturally. So look, let's see what the wisdom of the Oracle has to offer. You've got a higher power. So this is about tapping into your intuition. Yeah, use your intuition. Be guided by that. It won't steer you wrong. You've got new life. For some of you, you've definitely got a new life coming. Because I, I see here new love. For some of you, it's a new job. And there is new, there are new things, new experiences on the horizon for you. You've got a treasure island. It's about abundance. Like I said, um, I feel that whatever job you're getting is definitely going to improve your money situation, your financial uh, situation, without a doubt. Um, and some of you could have money coming to you, unexpected money coming to you with Treasure Island. Uh, the fork in the road. <laughs> I feel this refers to the return of your ex. You're at a crossroads in your life, it could be. Now deciding what you want in your life. You know, this is all about making those important decisions. For some of you, it's not just about love. It could be making that all important decision that moves your life in a different direction. But also, this is about a fork in the road. Do you go back down the same road, road where love is concerned, or do you move on to something new? So some of you may be thinking about those things. Um, and I think I'm going to... I think that's it now. I think you've got enough, but I'm going to put Treasure Island in the middle here because that's a brilliant card to get. So that was your reading. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye.